Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the atomic weight. Well, if you have a look at a basic periodic table, mapapansin ninyo that every element on this table is providing this information. So, tignan natin kung ano-ano ba itong mga information na nakikita natin dito. So, first, itong number na nakikita natin dito, ito yung napag-usapan natin sa ating previous video, and we learned that this is what we called the atomic number. And yung pinakamalaking letter naman na nakikita natin sa gitna ng ating mga elements sa ating periodic table is what we call the symbol of the element. And of course, binibigay din sa atin dito yung name ng ating element. Now, ano naman tong mga numbers na nakikita natin dito? For example, for our element sodium, may makikita tayo ditong numbers which is 22.98977. Ano tong number na nakikita natin dito? Well, this guys is yung tinatawag nating atomic weight. So, first, let us understand ano ba tong tinatawag nating atomic weight. Well, the reason why it is written on every element, even for a basic type ng periodic table, is because this is a very important information. Okay, because kung titingin kayo ng iba pang periodic table, mas marami kayong information na makikita. Hindi lang yung atomic number, symbol of element, name of element, and the atomic weight. May makikita din kayong iba pang information such as electronegativity and others. But even yung pinaka-basic na periodic table natin, makikita natin nakasama palagi itong atomic weight. Which means that this is very important and essential when you are using the periodic table. So ano ba yung tinatawag nating atomic weight? Well, atomic weight is also called a relative atomic mass. Well, it is called a relative mass because this particular atomic weight that we can see in our periodic table is the weight of a particular element taking relative to its different isotopes. Okay, katulad ng makikita natin sa pangalawang definition natin. The atomic weight in atomic mass unit for the elements is an average mass based on the abundance of the isotopes of that element in nature. Well, of course, natutunan na natin in our previous video kung ano ba yung tinatawag nating isotopes. Well, napag-usapan natin sa ating previous video that isotopes are those atoms of the same element that is having different mass. Okay? So, we know that every element have different isotopes. Diba? Naipakita na natin yan sa previous video natin about isotopes. So, paano natin nalalagay itong ating atomic weight if we know that there are different isotopes na present sa ating environment. Ano? So, this is why we have a relative atomic mass because we will base sa mga different isotopes na available and their abundance in nature. Okay? So, let us have an example here. Okay? So, on this example, it is said that any naturally occurring sample of chlorine consists of about 75.5% of chlorine-35 and 24.5% of chlorine-37. So, meron tayong dalawang isotope ng chlorine, no? Yung isa, yung chlorine na merong mass number 35 and another is chlorine having a mass number of 37. So, we need to find the average mass of chlorine. Well, on this case, we need to set our basis, which let's say we have 1,000 atoms of chlorine. So, let's say we have about 1,000 atoms of chlorine. So, out of this 1,000 atoms of chlorine, 75.5 is chlorine-35. Okay, so if we have Cl-35, means chlorine-35, this is 75.5% uh, of our atoms. So, we have 1,000 atoms times 75.5%, uh, which is 0 0.755. So, therefore, our chlorine-35 is equal to 755 atoms. 
Then similarly for chlorine 37, we have Cl 37. This is equal to 1,000 atoms times 24.5, so 0 0.245, which is equal to 245 atoms, okay, of Cl37. Okay, so this, guys, represents the number of atoms for every 1,000 atoms of chlorine. Okay, so number of atoms of chlorine on different isotopes for every 1,000 atoms of chlorine. Okay, so let us check kung gaano karami yung ating mass number, no? yung average mass number natin based from this abundance. No? So we will have for chlorine 35, so we have 755 atoms, okay? Times our mass number. Our mass number is equal to 35. So, this is equal to, let us use our calculator. So, we have 755 times 35. So, this is equal to 26,425. And then, for our chlorine 37, we have 245 atoms times um, 37 uh, our mass number so here we have again let's use our calculator we have 245 times 37 we have 9061 uh, so 9061 sorry 9061 okay so in here we know that this is for every 1000 atoms Okay, so for every 1,000 atoms, we have how many mass number now? So this will represent how many protons and neutrons do we have for every 1,000 atoms. Okay, so we have 9,060 or oh, 65 pala, hindi pala 61, sorry. So we have 9,065. So let me remove this. We'll change it to 5. 9,065, okay. 9,065 plus 26,425, we have 35,490. Okay? Okay, so that means for our average mass, we will have 35,490 for every 1,000 atoms, right? Okay, so this is like the number of protons and neutrons for every 1,000 atoms. So this is equal to 35.49. So it will be 35.49. Or we can say that our average mass is equal to 35.5. Okay, so this will be our final answer in here. Okay. Well, however, a more accurate measurement can be provided if the exact mass of a particular isotope is known. And this is what we use to calculate the exact atomic weight. Let me show you that by using this example number 2. So in here, we have uh, two isotopes of carbon. We have carbon-12 and carbon-13. Okay, and in here, makikita ninyo, that we know the exact atomic mass which is expressed in atomic mass unit. So, kung hindi sa inyo familiar kung ano ibig sabihin ng atomic mass unit, we will have a separate video about this topic, no? the atomic mass unit. Okay, but for this video, let us consider these values expressed in atomic mass unit. So, as you can see, for our carbon-12, we have exactly 12 atomic mass unit. And for carbon-13, we have 13.00335 atomic mass unit. Okay, but their abundance in nature differs this way. Pinakamarami yung carbon-12, which is 98.89%, and carbon-13 is 
percent. Okay, so now using this, we can actually calculate the atomic mass of carbon and express it in AMU or the atomic mass unit. Well, I would like to highlight, and this will be explained on our video about the atomic mass unit. There are many references that is using AMU, okay, for the atomic mass unit, but actually in some references, this is expressed in just letter U. They said because AMU is used when we are using other references no, in assigning for our weight ng ating mga elements. But the U is used when we start referring to carbon-12. But we will be talking about that when we discuss about the atomic mass unit. Okay? But dahil marami gumagamit ng AMU, just not to confuse you, in other references, we will be using AMU dito sa ating calculation. Ano? Okay, so almost similar naman yan ng ginawa natin dito. But in here, kung makikita ninyo, ang given lang kasi dito is yung ating number ng isotope and yung, and yung percentage ng ating isotope in nature. No? Dito, ito yun eh. Ito yung number of ng ating isotope. No? We have carbon-12 and carbon-13. So, this is the number of proton and neutron sa ating nucleus. Okay, so, ito lang yung ginamit natin kanina sa calculation. Itong ating isotope at itong ating abundance in nature. But, we will have a more accurate measurement kapag ito yung ginamit natin. Itong exact atomic mass in AMU. So, let us consider this. Now, we're going to calculate for the atomic mass of carbon. Okay, so, atomic mass of carbon. Okay, so ito yung ating isosolve. Okay, so katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, instead of using the isotope, we will be using itong ating atomic mass. So let's say uh, we have 12 AMU. So 12.00 AMU. Okay, then multiply that to the percent abundance of carbon-12 in our nature, which is 98.89%. So we have 0. 9889 then plus our carbon 13 exact atomic mass which is 13.00335 times its abundance in nature 1.11% is 0 0.0110 okay so let us use our calculator to get this value okay so we have First, 12 times 0.9889 plus, okay, our next term, we have 13 times 0 0.0110. So, we have 12.0098, no? So, let's say, I will write that here, 12.0098 atomic mass unit. Okay, so if I'm going to round this up, our atomic mass of carbon is equal to 12.01 atomic mass unit. Okay, so this is our final answer in here. Okay, another example no, para mas maintindihan natin siya. So and again, we have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 in here. But this time, given na yung ating exact atomic mass, and here is our percent abundance in nature. No? So, let us calculate for our atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, so this is equal to our atomic mass, or in AMU of our Chlorine 35, so we have 34.969 AMU times its percent abundance in nature, which is 75.53. So we have 0 0.7553. Then plus the exact atomic mass in AMU of our chlorine 37, which is 36.966. Okay, and this is in AMU. I'm sorry. This is in AMU. 
times its percent abundance in nature, which is 24.47, so 0 0.2447. Okay, so therefore, our atomic mass of chlorine will be equal to, let's have this here in our calculator, 34.969 times 0 0.7553 then plus 36.966 times 0.2447. Okay, so we have 35.4576. Okay, so let me write that here. 35.4576 AMU. Okay, so if I'm going to round that off, we have atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 35. 46 AMU. And this is our final answer here. So, ganito natin kinukuha yung atomic mass ng ating mga elements. No? We are targeting or we are taking the exact atomic mass of our element on different isotopes. And then, we are taking its portion based from the abundance in nature. So, as you can see here, based on the average mass natin, the atomic weight of chlorine is found to be 35.46 AMU, di ba? Or we can say it's about, let's say, 35.5 now. But we would never find an atom of chlorine that you would have a relative mass of 35.5 AMU. Okay, so wala kang makikita ang particular atom ng chlorine na mayroong ganitong mass. So, ang makikita natin talaga kapag uh, nag-check tayo ng mass ng ating chlorine. So, makakita tayo, which is about 35. Okay, ito nakikita natin dito. 35 AMU or about 37 AMU. So, wala kang makikita ng exactly 35.5 AMU or 35.46 AMU na atom ng chlorine. Okay, because this will depend on different isotopes na pinag-aaralan ninyo. However, if we check in general sa ating nature, ito yung lalabas na average ng mass ng chlorine in our nature because it is present in our nature on this proportion, no? So, yung percentage niya sa nature. Kaya, it will be more effective kung gagamitin natin itong average na to to represent the weight or the atomic weight of chlorine. Okay? But, once we start using this atomic weight na nakikita natin sa ating periodic table, you will find it very useful when we start studying about mole. Okay, so pag pinag-aralan na natin yung concept ng mole, magkakaroon na tayo ng understanding dito. Because here, as you can see, we expressed all our calculation in AMU or the atomic mass unit. But our mass in our calculation in chemistry would be expressed in different units of measurement no, ng weight. Nandyan yung grams, pounds, and others. Okay, so katulad nung natutunan natin ngayon, this is our atomic weight. of our sodium. And we learned from this topic that this number na nakikita natin dito, yung ating atomic weight, is based from the percentage of abundance of our isotopes in nature. No? Kaya tayo nag-arrive sa ganitong value. But once we understood the concept of mole, we will also know that this number here or our atomic weight would be equal to the weight of the element for every one mole. So, for example, uh, we are talking about grams, no? so we have gram mole. So, we will have here, instead of having 22.989777, atomic mass unit, we will be using this as 22.98977 grams of sodium for every 1 mole of sodium. Okay, so we will be using this a lot kapag nag-aral na tayo ng stoichiometry or once we start discussing about the concept of mole. Okay, but before that, we need to discuss first about 
molecular weight. So in here, we discuss about atomic weight. Then on our next video, we will be talking about the molecular weight. So with all of that and more, I will see you in our next lesson. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.